In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking single handle bathtub faucet. Now this is actually running water, that's how bad it is. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now the first thing you need to do, which is very important, is to shut the water off. You have to shut the water completely off before you begin this job. Once you turn the water off, the next thing you need to do is to take a cloth and put it over the drain to make sure that nothing falls through. Okay, so I shut the water off and you're going to have some water remain in the pipes. It has to just drain out, so you can just let that run out and then you can start the job. Okay, now right inside here, there is a screw that needs to be removed and you're going to need an Allen key. Now this is what you need. This is called an Allen key. You can purchase these in hardware stores and home centers. Now this is very deep, so we have to use this edge to turn it. So let's just insert it inside. And we have to just make contact with it. Now you just have to turn it counterclockwise. Okay, that should be enough. So I can just pull this right off. Now there's a ring over here. This piece has to be taken off. So to do this, you're going to need a tongue and groove plier. And just turn this counterclockwise. And you can just pull a sleeve off of that. Okay, now there's a clip over here. Remove it. And then this just, just pulls out like so. What you need to do is you need to inspect the O-ring. Now this O-ring looks okay. There are two rubber washers in here. As you can see, if you get a closer look. And these have to be replaced. Okay, now these two washers need to be taken out. And I purchased this right here. These are the replacement ones. Two washers and two springs. So I'm going to replace them. Okay, so what you need is a slot headed screwdriver. And you just have to poke them out. As you can see, the one on the left is damaged. The one on the right also is a little bit damaged. Okay, there you go. There's one. I'm going to take a look at it. Let's inspect it now. Yeah, you can see the surface is chewed up. Over here, okay. I'm going to replace the springs too. Okay, so that's one. Let's take the second one out. Yeah, so both of these need to be replaced. It does feel like it's a hot water leak, but it's not very hot, so it could be it's a mixture of a leak of both of them. Just be careful, just try to pull the surface. I don't want to touch the metal. Okay, there's the second one. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that needs to be replaced. Okay, now you have to make sure to put the spring in correctly when you take it out. Always pay attention to where the spring goes in. The narrow part of the spring goes in to the washer. So I'm going to show you. The narrow part of the spring into the washer. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in right here. Here's the technique I use. Just put it like so. This way you can just get it right on. Okay, that's one. Narrow end in. And there's the technique. Put it right through. So you could just slide it on. Okay. Just push your thumb firmly in, make sure it's all the way in. Okay, so now we have to install the cartridge. We just have to do everything in reverse. Now 
right over here. You can see when I put it in, that white stump has to go into that groove. Then you know it's installed correctly. Okay, now we need to put the clip back on. Just make sure it's firmly seated. Okay, now we need to reinstall the sleeve. Okay, make sure that before you put the sleeve back on, that the o-ring is properly in place. It has to be in this groove right here. Okay, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to slide it back on. Now we'll put on the nut. Okay, so the screw is tight, and the handle is tight and firm. Okay, so let's turn the water on and see how it works out. And there you go. The leak is fixed. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video, and thank you for tuning in.